uh, welcome back guys if you haven't subscribed please please do subscribe to my channel so i'll be encouraged to drop more content like this in the future okay um okay okay so let's get let's get back at this um okay uh so all right gonna create a ship for the a block out for the hair just a rough block out for the hair just to have a feel of how the hair should kind of lift or give more storytelling to the face see if i kind of capture that there's some of the likeness in there Okay, so to do that, I would bring this back on. This bit, my this duplicate of head we had. Move this. So let me kind of get a general idea as to where the hairs are growing out from. So I think I can do that. I can do that with this. Um. Yes, okay. Let me put this here. Wait a minute. Uh okay. Wait, something seems wrong. Okay. 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 Hopefully, I didn't do anything wrong, I guess. I'm just quite surprised because it's a duplicated head with no. With no layers in there, but seems to be getting all the wrinkle detail I applied on the original, which is quite surprising. Like, shockingly surprising. Okay, now that's quite surprising. I have no technical explanation as to how this is happening. Or oh, did I duplicate this letter? Did I duplicate this? Like, this is the main head. This is getting all the wrinkle detail I just added. Fantastic. Well, anyways. <clears throat> anyways, seems matter that much. We just need to block this. Block out. A kind of max out where I want the hairs to grow out from. Let me do this from the side view. Think. Uh. Hmm. 
Okay. Trying to get zoom in a bit more. Okay, I need need a bit more around here. We get. Okay, something like this. I think we probably need a bit more around here. Do you have a side view that might help? Yeah, I think this is a good one. I think this is actually a good one. Uh, let's compare this to this. It's covering quite a lot of parts, though. Okay. I think something like this should be fine. Now I'm not entirely sure for this neck part though. I'm not entirely sure for the neck part. But I think I think I will do something like Something a bit sharp, like so. Mm, maybe something like this should be fine. Mm. Let's see. Think. Those parts are covered. Okay. Uh, I think we can use this. Okay. Okay, something like this. So let's do let's do an extract but would increase or increase the thickness extract. Uh, that's a bit too much. Also, I need I need to remove. Need to remove the air out of this. Something like this. Maybe that was way too much, so let me just take this down. Extract again.
Mm, I think I can live with this, so I will just click on accept. <clears throat> have a floating piece so <clears throat> would correct that in a bit so let's start by doing auto grouping here so this is the only piece we need so select this okay uh, I'll do a delete hidden. <clears throat> delete hidden. Okay. It's probably going to rename, rename this. Need to rename this. Just to keep things organized. Uh, let me name this to neck, neck, vests, then name this to metal neck collar should also shoot this up okay so around this so around this should be fine select this piece put this all the way <coughs> on white So then I would polish this. Let me hide. Let me hide this and this for now. Let's just visualize just this. Okay. Now we'll do a polish. Though there's just too many poly so too many polygons in here now for now, so we need to we need to um dynamize this need to dynamize this so let's do dynamize for this Dynamash. Let's try. Let's try the default. Let's see what that gives us. Uh, too low. Too low. Let's increase this a bit. Yeah, this should be fine. So I have something around three hundred k. So that's, that should be fine. Okay. So I would go to the formation of polish this some more. Okay, uh, smooth, <clears throat> smooth out some of this. Let me move this up like so. Okay, so I now I need to start think a bit how. Better, um, let me use the clay builder brush. Huh. Start filling up some hairs around this. Huh. Kind of adding some more volume to this. Hmm. 
Dynamash this that's strange. Oh, I think I know why. Yeah, I know why. Um, let's undo all of this. I need to turn off back face marks in. to come in here is this where it's supposed to be is it okay I think on that brush auto maxing turn on back face max <clears throat> this way I think that's because once I when I do something like this click OK it shouldn't be affecting the inner parts so when we dynamash Shouldn't be having any weird issues around there. So I'm just trying to add some volume to this. Kind of keeping in <clears throat> keeping in mind the directionality. Let's dynamize this first. Then we can continue building on here. Okay, so that should be fine. The height of that should be fine. I'll we'll just continue this on. Okay. Right. <clears throat> this guy trying to get a feel of this. Let me remove brush and move this even closer to the skin so we kind of have better transition around it. Okay. I'm not doing just to I'm not doing just to get a general idea. Hmm. Is a smaller brush size. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, this one adds adds a bit of texture to it, but needs something. Trying to figure out the edge. <coughs> I think we need a bit more here. Need a bit more volume around here. Okay. It's just a, it's just a rough block out. Just a rough block out.
Okay, I don't know if this is rough enough. I mean, this is to be good enough block out, I believe. I'm not really going for. I'm not really going for perfection in here. No. So the next thing I'm going to do is to. Yeah, I need to save. Let me let me save first. Let me save first. There's still a lot going on in here, but at least for the most part, I think this should be. I think we're in a good place. Okay. So I'm going to sub the. Have I saved this? Okay, saved. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm going to subdivide this like so. And I'll click on standard. I'll go to my light box. I have. I'm going to brush. I have a pack for just blocking out hairs in here. Um, G. Where's that pack? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> this is the pack. Think I'm going to be using this. <clears throat> Think I'm going to be use. Let's try this. Let's try this. Yeah, this will work just fine. <clears throat> this will work just fine. Hmm. Ton of symmetry in here. So I'll just go around this. Hmm. So I'm keeping in mind <coughs> keeping in mind the directionality of this. So I should be flowing in this direction like so. If you've done as a few times, you would get an idea as to the directionality of this. But at the same time, not being entirely precise with it. So, so just to get a rough, a rough block out in there. This one should be <clears throat> this one should be slightly longer. <clears throat> See, this one falls around here. Maybe turn of symmetry and just do for the center parts. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think we can live with this. Maybe the dem standard brush. Where's that dem brush? Where's the dem or oh, dem standard brush? Basically trying to add some contours in between. 
just to break up the surface some more. Probably turn on symmetry for this. Can I create some more depth in here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that should, should be fine. It should be fine. It should be fine for now. Let's do a quick save. All right, so let's bring let's bring the other piece out. Bring this other piece out. Let's see what we have. Yeah, I think it should be fine. Yeah, this should be, this should be fine. <clears throat> okay, let's do a quick render. Let's see what we have. Okay, not um, not completely perfect, but at least this this should work. This should work. Should work just fine. Uh, maybe while while let us give this some eyebrow also. So I'm just going to go back to this piece. Move the marks for this. Let's block out something for the eyebrow. Okay, I think something like this should be fine. Extract, extract, accept. Okay. Polish, 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 polish some more. Use the move brush. Kind of move things in place. Okay. Uh, and then <clears throat> subdivide this one more time. Then just repeat the same brush we used. Where's the brush? So, yeah, this is it. Now I think I need to go in there. Now I don't think I'm doing that, doing this accurately enough. Not doing this accurately enough. Use a brush size. With the more brush, I will push this back in some more. So it kind of sits in inside the skin. Um, with the pinch brush also tighten this edge just tighten that edge the move brush get something like so yeah I think this should be fine it should be fine I'm just going to just just a place so that just to get a general feel of general feel of the volume of the hair around it Okay, I think they should work. So I'm just do a quick save for this. All right. So in the next lesson, we'll start exporting this out and then start doing some bakes and UVs or whatnot on top of this. So uh, let me see if I can do a quick render of this. 
so thank you guys for watching now see you guys in the next lesson bye for now